Hi guys, by Antonio Seri, in this tutorial, continues the series Hollywood movie title and we realize the Inception V1 flying logo. We will see how to enter buildings in a maze. Proceed with opening the file Inception Vector File C4D in Adobe Illustrator. The file is set to 1920 x 800 pixels, and has been designed and structured to make the import work in 3D software, as easy as possible. Most important, I've set the zero at the center of the base. In the project file there are a general maze. The Inception logo that will serve as a mask in 3D program. The outline logo. The inside logo for the mask and the spline for the building reference position. You will also find the complete spline of the maze. OK, we export the project in Adobe Illustrator 8. Open Cinema 4D, and import the Adobe Illustrator file from, File, Merge Object. Click OK. As we can see all groups in the levels of Adobe Illustrator files, were imported on groups of null objects. We select the layer from group 3 to 9, and groups them with the command Alt G. Disable the visibility of this layer, and we only work on the maze. Open the null object, layer 2 and we drag out the group 2 layer, we select the spline and join with the command connect plus delete. Drag out of the 2 layer and apply the extrude tool. We do a render to see the result. OK. Rename extrude a maze. We apply a depth of extrusion from 20 to 2. We select the two splines in the group 2 layer and merge with the command connect plus delete. Rename border maze. Drag it out and apply an extrusion with value 150. Delete the group 2 layer and 2 layer. We proceed by inserting the logo's mask in the maze. Rename Extrude Border. Drag out the Group 3 layer. Select all the spline and connect. We apply an extrusion with value to 10. Drag out of the maze, along the z-axis. Rename Extrude Logo Outside. Insert the Boolean tool. And drag on it, Extrude Maze and Extrude Logo Outside. We apply the type, booleana, without, b. Increase the extrude depth from 10 to 20. To get the result. In the logo outside, insert depth value from 20 to 200. Finally, in Extrude Maze, depth value from 2 to 150. OK. Rename this object, Maze. Proceed with the Group 4, drag out and disable the maze visibility. Select all the splines and connect all. Drag it out and delete Group 4. 
we applied the extrusion with value 150. Rename, extrude logo outline, and disable visibility. Drag out the group 5, join the spline, drag it out, and delete group 5, apply extrusion. Rename, extrude logo inside mask. We inset your depth of 200. Go to top view, and move our object along the z-axis. Positioned at the center of our maze. Duplicate, extrude maze. And drag out, logo inside. Insert a new boolean tool. Insert extrude maze, and logo inside mask. Boolean type, A, intersect, B. Wow, this result, is very nice. Okay. As we can see, we got the basic elements for the animation. We set the perspective view with front view. Rename the object created, in logo maze inside. Go to the render setting panel and we set to parameters of the hour scene 1920 width and height to 800 the final frame to 240 best on anti-aliasing and return in our project we set the timeline to 240 frames and insert a new camera with the following coordinates x 0 y 400 z less 1920 p rotation 0 to get the result okay to not see the edge of maze we set the z to less 1900 let's go to 240 frame and activate the position and rotation keyframes. Let's go to frame 0 and insert the values. X, less 36. Y, 400. Z, less 14. P, rotation, less 90. Activate the keyframe. Go to 107 frame and insert this value. X, 0, Z, less 388, P, rotation, 0, activate. Go to 121 keyframe and insert, X, 0, Z, less 493, P, rotation, 0, activate. to get the result. As we can see, we need to improve the movement of the camera through the F-curves panel. We must make this curve more softer very important to be able to see the inside of the P letter in the first part of animation. We need to change on zero frame Y coordinates from 400 to 265. Okay. This is done. We can modify the curve of animation camera in F-curves panel. We obtain the curve as the display. So show the P letter on the logo. Select the extrude logo outline and extrude logo maze layer, 
and groups them. Rename logo Inception Maze. Align the pivot object at the center scene. Proceed with the logo Inception Maze animation. We position the timeline at frame 56, activate keyframe in the Z position. Go to 240 frame and insert the value 150. View the render. The logo get off behind the labyrinth. To improve the result, insert the first light type of area. We set the intensity to 80, and in the coordinates panel, insert the following values, y, 550, z, less 595. We make a render. In the general panel, go to 150 frame. Activate a keyframe on intensity, with value to 33. Let's go to frame 240, and activate a keyframe to 80. This animation creates a dynamic lighting. To improve the effect, activate shadow maps. Insert a new light, type, Omni. Activate shadow maps. And insert the coordinates, Y, 1042, Z, less 330. Lowers the intensity to 75. We make a render to see the result. Also this light has a dynamic lighting. Let's go to 120 frame. And activate the first keyframe with intensity 0. Go to 150 frame. The value of intensity is 75. View the result. Insert another keyframe in the 180 frame, with value to 85. And finally, in 240 frame with value to 75. We insert a spotlight. We set the color RGB, 240, 203, intensity to 40, and in the coordinates panel, insert the values, X, 298, Y, 395, Z, less 1280, H rotation, 12 degrees. Go to 120 frame, activate the coordinates keyframes position and intensity keyframe. Go to zero frame and insert the values X less 388, Y 1169, Z less 928, rotation less 29, less 36, 30. Activate. We bring intensity to 70, in this case, we apply an animation to change the color. Activate a keyframe on color, return to 120 frame, and activate the keyframe with white color. View the result. Let's go to 240 frame, and activate intensity to 0. As we can see, 
On this spotlight, we created an animation for intensity, position and color change. Insert a new material and rename Maze Color. With RGB value 50 and 6060. Applies into the maze. And view the result. The inside of the maze must have a material with dynamic color change. Duplicate the first material and rename Maze Color Logo. Activate the color panel and go to 56 frame. Activate a keyframe on brightness. Let's go to 240 frame and set brightness to zero. We apply this material to logo inception maze. As we can see from the render to get the correct shadow effects. We must insert a mask object for improve the labyrinth result. Back in the front view and disable the camera visibility. Insert a rectangle, and in the object panel insert the values, 19, 20, 800. In coordinates panel, Y, 440. Insert another rectangle, in the object panel insert the values, 1508, and 204. Y coordinates, 398. We convert the rectangles into two spline and group them using connect. We apply, extrude. Go to camera display and move the object along the z-axis at 1 meter. So it's placed under the maze and creates the necessary mask. Create a new material and rename black mask. Disable all, and we apply it to the mask. We make a render to visualize the final maze effect. Rename the newly created object, Extrude Maze Mask. Insert another object to mask the back of the logo. We insert a cube. With the following values, 1900, 230. Panel coordinates. Y, 398, Z, 400. Apply the material black mask. Select both objects and groups them into black mask. Select the six layer and drag him all over. We repeat the same step with the 7 layer. These two layers contain the spline, which will be used for the positioning of the buildings. Select the 8 and 9 layers, and delete them. Drag extrude border, outside the object, and delete the object imported from Adobe Illustrator. Connect the 7 layer spline, drag out and delete them. Rename path buildings inside. We repeat the same step on six layer. Rename path buildings outside. For the selection of buildings models, I used the DOS 3D model, Skyscrapers Volume 1. There are many models available to choose from. You can also use other models. I show you how to enter buildings on any spline, in this case along the P-spline of Inside Maze. Go to the reference file with all models, and select the models that we want to insert. 
This technique will allow you to enter all the models you want, 10, 30, or 100. Obviously with many models, the file will become heavier, and the rendering will be slower. We will use the MoGraph module, Cloner Object. In my project I use 20 models of skyscrapers. OK. We begin, we import two models. The first model is a polygon grouped, the second model is a group polygons composition. The 01 model is a tower. and the 18 model is a classic building. Enlarge our view, as we can see our models, are positioned relative to the center stage, but from the center of the maze, with Y to 400 meters. Very importantly, the models should have the y-axis rotated 90 degrees, with the move pivot tool, p rotation value to 90. Insert by MoGraph, the cloner object tool. We set mode to object. And drag the first model on the object line. Mode on volume. Set the count from 50 to 1, so, we'll increase the number of clones, gradually. With the layer cloner active, also activate the tool MoGraph, spline effector. Check if you have applied to our cloner object. Go to effector panel, and on spline line, drag our path inside buildings. On Parameter, Disable Rotation, and on Segment Mode, select Full Spacing. Finally, drag the 0, 1 and 18 models inside Cloner Objects, and modify the count value to 59. View the result. Wow! With this technique, the work of insertion of the buildings on our labyrinth is straightforward and professional. Very, very nice. OK, back to our project, and apply the last step on the path inside buildings, by count, we can decide how to enter buildings. Proceed for the path buildings outside. We can disable the spline paths, to better see the effect. If you want to get a good result, you must enter at least 300 clones for both spline. If you remember, the logo inside as a position animation, we can add to it, dragging inside to null object, logo inception maze. Now move the two materials properly. The outside will not be animated. Group the lights created, 
and rename it System Light Maze. Duplicate and rename the new group in Light System Buildings. Click on Spot and go to Frame 0. And change the color animation with 230, 195. Set the intensity to 200. Go to 30 frame and repeat the same procedure. This spotlight light up the buildings in the first part of the animation. Let's go to 100 frame and drag the keyframe 120 on it. Insert the color 243, 227. Intensity to 200. Go to 150 frame, insert the white color, and intensity to 80. The 240 frame is OK. In the coordinates panel, delete animation keyframe. Insert value x less 1377, y 274, z less 517, rotation less 81, less 22, less 8. We click on the Omni light and change the value from 75 to 55 and the frame from 180 to 60. Finally, click on Area and insert a keyframe at 56 frame with intensity 0. Move the keyframe from 150 to 130 and modify intensity from 33 to 10. This system of lights for the buildings was prepared for the final rendering. Go to the cloner object inside and insert count value to 580. Make a render. As we can see, the walls of our skyscrapers reflect the labyrinth. This is not good, and so we have to remember to disable the maze before making the final rendering. OK, to improve the reflection of our buildings we insert a sky object in the scene, we apply a compositing tag, disable scene by camera. Set the HDRI 019 material, already in the Cinema 4D library. Insert the material on our sky object, on luminance panel. Apply filter with values.
Saturation, less 100. Lightness, less 35. Brightness, less 25. OK, make a render to see our changes. Perfect. Now, in our stage, add two cylinders with neon effect to reflect light on skyscrapers' windows. Add the first cylinder, oriented along X axis. And change the size width, radius 8 and height 19 20 meters. The position coordinates are Y, 300, and Z, less 3 meters. Duplicate the cylinder, and modify Y, less 84, and Z, less 55 meters. We modify the radius of 6 meters. We group the two cylinders and rename building light reflection. Create a new material. In basic panel, disable color and activate luminance and glow. Change the luminance color, 238 and 188. On glow panel, insert the following parameters, 80, 4, 180. We apply this material on our two cylinder, and view a render. Okay, very well. Our cylinders create the illusion of indirect lighting. Very important to apply the tag compositing to the two cylinders with disable scene by camera. Now we organize our files we need for working in After Effects. before make a render of the complete maze without skyscrapers, with the system maze light active. Open the render settings panel, set the size 1080 and 450. We apply alpha channel. Save as maze. After disable cube from black mask. Logo maze inside and outline logo.
save a file maze inside shadows. If you want to make sure that the object cube will mask the back of your logo, increase the height to cover everything. Proceed with the rendering of skyscrapers without the maze, with the system light buildings active. Insert 580 clones on the inside. And 780 clones on the outside. In the render settings, save the file buildings inside plus outside, exported from 0 frame to 170 frame. We save the render file only the building inside. With buildings inside, exported from 0 frame to 130 frame. Finally we save the render file only the building outside. With buildings outside, exported from 130 frame to 170 frame. Here is the result of rendering that we have achieved. Buildings inside plus outside. Maze inside shadows. and the base of maze. We proceed with the compositing in After Effects. Drag the files into the project panel. We create our basic composition by dragging the file maze in the bottom of the timeline. After we add Inception Sky, We make a 3D layer and modify the parameters of the scale, 51, 44, 51. Go to first position keyframe and zero frame with the values 540, 131, and 93. Go to 33 frame and insert the final frame with 540, less 188, and 10. As we can see, the sky animation doesn't follow the linear maze movement of the maze. Lower the value from 131 to 72. So as to bring the same cloud in the horizon. Insert other intermediate frames in the first part of the animation in order to make more accurate throughout the movement. Now it's OK. To soften the horizon, we proceed with the inclusion of a layer mask. Mode Subtract, in the down sky, feather value to 207.
Maze Layer Active. Go to the frame 88. We apply an exposure effect. And apply a keyframe with value, less 4. Let's go to frame 128 and insert 0. View the result, this exposure makes the dark labyrinth, during the first part of the animation. Go to 240 frame. And add solid layer, linear shadows with black color. We set overlay mode to multiply. Add a mask at the bottom. Centered our mask. And apply a feather to 75. We set the opacity to 40. Add another layer solid, radial shadows. Apply a mask of elliptical shape. Obviously in subtract mode. Feather value to 50, and opacity to 300. Even this level to multiply mode. Now, add a new white layer solid, to illuminate of the maze central part. We apply an elliptical mask. Set the layer mode soft light to see the overlap. And center to our maze, we add a second smaller mask on top. To soften the edges, we apply a Gaussian blur effect. with value, 75. Change the opacity to 70. You can change the shape of the light, in the way you like. We add the last layer solid, to create a small circular light up in the logo. Set it, in overlay mode.
and feather to 75. Opacity to 80. View the result. As we can see, the two lights at the beginning of our animation must not be present. Go to 147 frame and activate the opacity values already set. Go to 128 frame and set to both the opacity to zero. OK. If you want to give a darker effect to the logo, you can decrease the intensity of light. Drag maze inside shadows over all the layers, this will give us the possibility to darken the central part of the logo. Create a precompose layer. Inside we can see. The central part of the logo is perforated. With this trick, we can get the logo inner shadow. OK. We apply on it a black color fill effect. Let's add a white solid as a base to put under. And finally, above all, we apply an adjustment layer with the invert effect. Let's return to our main project and apply to precompose layer a color key effect. So, as to eliminate all white color. To remove the white fill, just put a black color fill effect. We set the opacity to 60. OK. Here we go. This must also be animated. Go to 118 frame and activate an opacity keyframe. Value is 0. Go to 147 frame and restore the value to 60. Now drag buildings inside plus outside in our project. The animation of the buildings must have for the inside and outside part fading in different frames. To do this, create a precompose layer. Drag buildings inside and buildings outside. We set buildings outside at the end of the timeline. In order to separate the inside and outside to the same layer, we apply the preset effect invert alpha. In this way, with a single alpha channel, you can get two separate layers that can also have different fade animation. Duplicate layer and check invert mat.
Now go to 100 frame. And set the value to 100, for the opacity interpolation of the inside part, fade out in the 130 frame to 0. If we want to clean up, the alpha channel outside buildings, just apply, the matte choker effect, with value to 0. To complete, at the outside animation opacity, go to the 145 frame, and activate the first Chi frame, with opacity 100, and make the opacity to 0, in the 240 frame. View the result, both inside and outside layers are perfectly synchronized. Let's return to our project, and apply on the precompose layer, exposure effect. In the first frame, less 1.50. in the 24 frame, to less 1. And finally to the 30 frame, less 0 0.5. Add a glow effect. with only the threshold value to 22, and radius, to 80. Duplicate this layer, and erase all effects. Apply and trap code star glow effect, with streak length to 13. On individual's lengths, apply only to left and right. Set color map A on one color. White color. And B color map, one color. On RGB value, 255, 236, 147. Source and star glow opacity to 60. Overlay mode, to lighten. To complete our project, we apply a Tritone effect. with the following values, highlights, white, matones, 75, 87, shadows 21, 29, 30, also, in this effect, we have to make an animation of two frames, let's go to 90 frame, and we set to blend with original to 100. Then, to 100 frame, insert a value to 16. Wow! Very cool! Now, that our project is complete, we can assemble it with the audio file. Rename Inception Movie Title
and drag it into the icon creates composition. Included even the audio file. To match the same length of the original, extended our timeline to 301 frames. And apply a strike to 125.1. We can proceed with the export of our project. Here is the final result. See you at the next meet for the realization of the Inception V2 movie title. Thanks, and nice days by Antonio Seri.